Okay, so we've got our, we've done our um, quarter circle, we've done the half circle. You could do a three quarter circle, but we're going to leave that one out at the minute. And we're gonna go on to our full circle. And you can see, obviously this one is double the size of this one here. Um, and you can see just, you know, that, that amount of fullness and see how, you know, that is literally a quarter circle there. So you've got four of those making up the skirt. Um, and then that the fullness in the back. So still with the center back seam. Um, and of course this is half scale, so everything fits on the fabric nicely, but we'll talk a little bit about um, working with a, with a full size uh, fabric as we go along, or a full size pattern, I mean. Okay, so um, we'll start with um, our piece of paper. I'm going to fold it in half and then we're going to fold it in half again. So that we've got four quarters which make up a full scale. And so then we'll just add in our centre back here. And so what we need to do now, we've got a 35 centimeter waist um, plus two centimeters which is the two times one centimeter seam allowance or the center back here which is 37 so 37 is our total waist measurement and we want to do a um, full circle so again we go to our chart and we've got here down to our 37 centimeter waist measurement and we go across to a full circle, full circle, go down the line here. Full circle is nine, is 5.9 centimeters. So, and you'll see that, you know, 11.8 was the half circle. So obviously half of that is going to be the full circle one. So 5.9 centimeters. So starting at the um, at the center here, we do done before. So 5.8, 5 5.9, 5 <laughs> slivvy, oh, as millimeters count. So you see it's little because you know that plus that plus that plus that equals the waist measurement of 37 centimeters. Yeah, and that includes your seam allowance. Exactly. So we'll just draw this in. So this is our stitch line and down the back here we would have our one centimeter seam allowance. So it's actually yeah, four times well, that minus the seam allowance, which is the waist measurement. And then, adding our cut edge onto that. So, cut edge, little pair of scissors there. Um, so now all we have to do for this one, to do this is to cut up The other thing you can do too, which I haven't mentioned previously, is all of these, the ones that we've been doing here to show you how they work, um, are just um, standard measurements. So all of, the, all of the waist measurements are just a clean waist measurement. But the thing is, you know, you could actually, if you wanted to make this bigger, you know, you could have a circle skirt that was then gathered at the waist to go on to, to go into a skirt. Um, so you can, you know, you can play with it that way as well. The other thing, you know, once you're, once you've got into it too, is, you know, like if you've got a, the waist shaping there, um, and you have to calculate these, but, you know, like you could actually, you know, put in a, put in a pleat, you know, and play, play with pleats. So if you add, you know, this is, I've got that as maybe like an extra 
six centimeters or something pleat value in there if you added that six centimeters into your waist measurement you know then you could do this sort of like a like a full circle skirt but with pleats as well um so you'd really get you know this is amazing shape going around um around the side so you know you can really play with things like that and we saw that with one of the exercises we were discussing in class today the one that had the stripes the full circle skirt with the stripe panels and yeah. The black, um, yeah or that technique. um that red neoprene one as well yes. um it looked like it had um it had pleats so i've just flipped this one over cut one flipped it over traced around there and now I've got all of this, I can flip this one over. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> I've never thought to do that. Do this this way, it really makes it easy. And then just cut along that line. You're a genius, man. I'm just lazy, that's all it is. <laughs> Girl, I thought I was lazy. Amazing how many clever <laughs> techniques you can come up with when you're lazy. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't want to do all that work, I'll do it this way. <laughs> um, okay, so that's our, our full circle seam allowance down that side. You can mark the stitch line in around here if you'd like to. Um, and again, you know, like this, for this to be, this is half scale. So full scale, obviously, you know, this would be, would be double the size. Um, the other thing too uh, is that, and I'll show you, actually, I'll show you on this one that we did earlier here so what happens if you're doing a full circle skirt and it's not i mean you're even even at this size you can see that the you know our paper um, is only this wide so not all of the the pattern shape fits on one piece of paper and this also goes for fabric as well you know if you want to do a full circle skirt but you only want to have that one seam in the back there um, you, there's a chance that what you might have to do is, is um, add on a separate piece of fabric. So say if the fabric here was only you know, this wide, this measurement is at full scale is maybe 110, but you actually need the fabric to be um, 100 and, uh, that'd be 150 or something. Um, you, can, you can actually uh, add on an extra piece. So this would be, and I've, I've sort of, I've overlapped this, the two centimeters for the seam allowances here, and then I've continued my line around. So what you would do then um, is that you would cut along that line and then you would just peel these off and like separate the two pieces. And this would become um, another pattern piece for your skirt. You know, and then of course you'd have the same, same grain, same grain line. line here. Okay. And they can call that a god eh, too, don't they? Even though it's it's um, really just an extension of the fabric. Hmm. And the thing is, if you if you had a patterned fabric, or if you had like polka dots or stripes or something, you know, really, even though it's quite a big seam that you're adding in. Um, and full scale, that seam would be further away from the waist as well. It would be further yeah. down the garment. Yeah, right. So yeah, it would yeah, be like, so um, you know, it would be across line. here. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you had a patterned fabric or if you did have a stripe, you could actually cut the fabric so that, so maybe when you sewed, you know, the two back together again, that, that the seam actually got lost in the stripe. So if you're very careful with your cutting, you know, you could sew it back together again and keep the spacing the same between the stripes mm. so that it really did blend in with the rest of the fabric. Um, so just different ways of playing with things. Another idea which um, Libby was talking about earlier is that potentially too, you know, like a circle skirt doesn't actually have to be a circle skirt. A circle skirt can be a square that makes any sense so instead of trimming this off to make this bottom head edge round you know you could literally have um, you know have your pattern piece as that so that the corners are actually square and that was something they did a lot in the 1920s they worked with square pieces of fabric that had circles cut in the middle and it meant that you got you, what's called a handkerchief hem so on each of these corners, you know, it comes down to a point 
um, and you have a much um, a much more dramatic hemline, or you could you know you can even do it so that you know maybe two of your like these two corners you actually cut the circle off, and these two corners you leave the point. So you know you could play with that aspect of it as well.